Okay, so I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of the Galaxy S2 running Sky Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. This ROM works on the Galaxy S2 LTE for Rogers and for the Galaxy S2 Skyrocket for the AT&T network. It's extremely stable and runs great. <coughs> uh, and if you want to know how to actually flash the ROM, uh, I will include a link at the ending of this video. Just for now, I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of how the ROM works and functions. Uh, I think I'll go over the known issues first. <clears throat> it's better to get rid of the negative points. Not too many, to be honest, almost next to none. Um, there were some problems for Rogers users in which <clears throat> when the phone went up and running, uh, voice and data worked fine, but LTE wasn't. <clears throat> the developer of the ROM has noticed this issue and addressed it and has actually configured it to run LTE, but just in case it's not working for you or if you're on the AT&T network it's not working for you, in order to fix that what you do is hit the menu button, settings, under wireless and network hit more, scroll the bottom to mobile networks, and then access point names. So <clears throat> as you can see he's actually updated for Rogers LTE. Uh, I know the camera's being a little annoying with the focus. If you want to add another um, APN, hit the menu button and then new APN. If you need a list of APN settings, you can find it in this forum post, <coughs> which I will put the link in the description. Uh, it's got all the Rogers and AT&T APN settings. So if you do scroll all the way down to where I highlighted it, right here, where it says APN for AT&T go down a bit further and then there's the APNs for Rogers okay so if you're not sure how APNs work I suggest you just read this thread a little bit or do some research because it's pretty very basic information so basically uh, to quick overcap of the ROM itself it's running a slightly altered version of TouchWiz which I'm not a big fan of I personally don't like TouchWiz at all I like the Galaxy Nexus theme uh, I will include a video tutorial on how to get the Galaxy Nexus theme up and running on this phone and any phone running Android 4.0.4 I believe and this phone is running just that very same version Yep, there it is Android 4.0.4 did I say that right? well whatever you can read it and build is Sky Ice Cream Sandwich I'm running the 13th update of this ROM <clears throat> so those are some minor different issues. Camera and everything is pretty much the stock TouchWiz camera, what you expect. Works great, 1080p, everything works fine. Um, <clears throat> if by the off chance, in a future update, the developer has some sort of white line in the notification bar, even though the camera is not focusing and doesn't want to help me right now, you can fix that by going to your apps list and looking for an app called Team Battery. Open it and where it says battery bar service right now it's not running but if you tap it and turn it on then you might get this white bar in your notification drop down bar okay so to turn it off make sure this is off in team battery app a lot of the galaxy s3 wallpapers and apps are included that's right you heard galaxy s3 apps and some of the live wallpapers and generic wallpapers are included um, so let me give you a quick demo the infamous S voice is included. Uh, how is the weather in Toronto? Here is the weather for Toronto, Ontario. So as you can see, it works pretty good. It's pretty fluid. Hi Galaxy. How are you today? <clears throat> I'm good, thanks. <laughs> Hi Galaxy. Do you think I'm cool? Please like me, please like me. I like you for you. Yes, somebody actually likes me. Okay, so I'm not going to actually go into too many more features with this app. I might create a different video on it. Another cool feature about this ROM is that it has a um, <coughs> notification widget setting. I no longer use Switch Pro because <coughs> it has these options built in. We can quickly access data on and off, Bluetooth, etc. And in order to configure that, uh, notification bar go to the apps and hit quick panel settings from here you can select which buttons you actually want up there and then kind of drag the order around okay so that's another cool feature uh, compared to the other ROM 
in my channel, my YouTube channel, in which I show you how to flash the stock ice cream sandwich ROM from AT&T, which I believe is Android 4.0.3, I can't remember. The phone and contacts were separated into two separate apps. Like I know you can see it here, but I'll, I'll just show you. If I tap phone, so you can actually see your contacts up here in the corner, whereas in the old version, it, it was a completely separate app. I'm not sure why Samsung or AT&T decided to do that, but this ROM addresses that issue. And I don't have any AT&T. No, go away. Leave me alone. And of course, if you hit contacts, yeah, 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 whatever. Don't show again. If you scroll to the side, hit phone, there's a dialer. So it's great. It actually merges those two <clears throat> extremely important uh, functions back together. And of course, you get the very other generic ice cream sandwich features which if you have mobile data on or data plan you can cap how much mobile data you want to go up and down of course if you hold the home button down for a little while it this is your task manager you can just simply swipe them away it's closing the apps that quickly okay camera has a picture panorama mode I believe uh, where are you shooting mode and there's panorama if the camera would focus well, you just have to. Oh, okay, you don't have to take my word for it. You can actually see it. Great. So that's pretty much my recap of the ROM itself. There aren't many other known issues. Um, the developer is constantly updating it. It's extremely stable as it is, but he's always updating it just for the fact of, you know, for the basis of having uh, minor tweaks, fixes here and there. Um, like I said, he has addressed the Rogers LTE issue but that may come back in a future update, who knows, but he's pretty good at fixing it and a lot of the errors I said you can fix yourself. There's actually one thing I wanted to address, it's the, uh, how can I access it quickly, the selecting the keyboard input, uh, let me just select this I guess, okay if you long press in a text field in Android, it's supposed to give you a list of keyboards to select from, right? But it's not working for me right now. In order to fix that, because I use swipe a lot, I love swipe. You actually go to the phone settings, language and input, default, and then from here, if you can see it, it's not too bright, select swipe. And if you go back, whoops, I needed to go there. Uh, select this. See, there's the swipe keyboard now. So it's that's a, not too big of an inconvenience. I mean, who changes their keyboard that often? I mean, really. But like I said, I'm a huge fan of swipe, so I need to change it to that. So that's how you fix that little issue. I believe that's pretty much it. I can't think of any other errors to report on. Um, a lot of the key features I just showed you, anything additional is very minor tweaks here and there. And it's extremely stable. I believe that's pretty much it. So if you found this video useful, hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, or check out my website for technology news and rumors, and thanks for watching.